The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel is a captivating exploration of the complex relationship between money and human behavior. Housel, a renowned financial journalist and investor, delves into the psychological factors that influence our financial decisions and ultimately shape our financial outcomes. This summary will provide an overview of the key insights and lessons learned from the book. Time and Compound Interest Housel emphasizes the significance of time and compound interest in building wealth. He highlights that financial success is not primarily about intelligence or luck, but rather about consistency and patience. Starting early and allowing your investments to grow over time is crucial in harnessing the power of compound interest. Time and compound interest are powerful drivers of wealth accumulation. Understanding their significance can provide individuals with a strategic advantage in achieving their financial goals. Here, we'll delve deeper into this point and provide real-life examples to illustrate its importance. 1. The power of time. Time is a crucial factor in building wealth. The longer your money remains invested, the greater the potential for it to grow. By starting early and allowing your investments to compound over time, you can maximize the growth potential of your wealth. A. Example 1. Let's consider two individuals, Alice and Bob, who both want to save for retirement. Alice starts investing $5,000 per year at the age of 25 and continues until she turns 35, contributing a total of $50,000. Bob, on the other hand, waits until he turns 35 to start investing the same amount annually until he reaches 65 contributing a total of $150,000, assuming an annual return of 7%, when they both reach 65, Alice's investments will have grown to approximately $602,070, while Bob's will amount to approximately $540,741. Even though Bob contributed three times more money than Alice, her early start and the additional time her investments had to compound resulted in a significantly larger retirement nest egg. Two. Compound interest. Compound interest is the concept of earning interest not only on the initial investment but also on the accumulated interest over time. It magnifies the growth of your wealth, especially when reinvested or compounded regularly. A. Example 2. Suppose Emma invests $10,000 in a savings account that earns a fixed annual interest rate of 5%. If she leaves the money untouched for 30 years, it would grow to approximately $43,219. The growth is not linear, it accelerates over time due to the compounding effect. In the last 10 years, the investment would have grown from approximately $24,120 to $43,219, indicating the substantial impact of compound interest. B. Example 3. John and Sarah both invest $1,000 per month in a stock portfolio. John decides to withdraw the monthly gains from his portfolio, while Sarah chooses to reinvest all her gains. Over the course of 20 years, assuming an average annual return of 8%, John's portfolio would be worth approximately $739,918. However, by reinvesting all her gains, Sarah's portfolio would grow to approximately $1,275,888. The compounding effect of reinvesting her gains significantly boosted Sarah's wealth accumulation compared to John's approach. These examples highlight the power of time and compound interest. Starting early, remaining invested for a more extended period, and allowing your investments to compound can significantly impact your financial outcomes. By taking advantage of time and harnessing the compounding effect, individuals can set themselves on a path towards long-term financial success. The Role of Luck The role of luck in our financial outcomes is a central theme in The Psychology of Money. Luck can have a profound impact on our lives, including our financial success or failures. Here, we will explore this point further and provide real-life stories from history that highlight the influence of luck. 1. The Story of Warren Buffett Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, acknowledges the role of luck in his own financial journey. Despite his undeniable investing acumen, Buffett often attributes his success to a combination of skill and luck. In his early years, he had the good fortune of being mentored by Benjamin Graham, 
a renowned investor and author of The Intelligent Investor. This mentorship played a critical role in shaping Buffett's investment philosophy and approach. Additionally, Buffett's timing and the opportunities available during market downturns contributed to his ability to make successful investments. While his skills and expertise are remarkable, Buffett recognizes that luck played a significant part in his financial accomplishments. 2. The Dot-Com Bubble During the late 1990s and early 2000s, the dot-com bubble emerged, fueled by the rapid rise of internet-based companies. Many investors experienced substantial gains as stock prices soared. However, when the bubble burst in the early 2000s, numerous companies collapsed, leading to massive losses for investors. The timing of entering and exiting the market played a significant role in determining financial outcomes during this period. Investors who happened to invest at the height of the bubble suffered considerable losses, while those who exited early or avoided speculative investments were spared. Luck, in terms of timing and investment choices, significantly influenced the financial outcomes of individuals during the dot-com era. 3. The Great Depression the Great Depression, which began with the stock market crash of 1929, was a period of severe economic downturn and financial hardship. Many people lost their jobs, homes, and life savings. The impact of the Depression was widespread, affecting individuals regardless of their financial prudence or intelligence. People who had carefully saved and invested found themselves destitute due to circumstances beyond their control. In contrast, those who happened to be in the right industries or had secured stable employment managed to weather the storm. The financial outcomes during the Great Depression were largely determined by luck, such as employment status and industry exposure. These real-life stories illustrate the role of luck in financial outcomes. While skill, knowledge, and decision-making play a part, external factors beyond our control can significantly impact our financial success or failures. Recognizing the role of luck fosters humility, empathy, and an understanding that financial circumstances are not solely a result of individual merit. It is important to note that these examples are not meant to diminish the importance of personal responsibility and sound financial decision-making. However, they serve as reminders that luck plays a significant role in financial outcomes, and being aware of this can lead to a more balanced perspective when evaluating our own financial circumstances and those of others. The importance of saving. The importance of saving money is a fundamental aspect of financial well being, and it's never too early to start teaching children about this concept. Here, we will expand on the importance of saving and provide examples that children can understand to support this point. 1. Saving for a toy. Children often have toys or items they desire. By teaching them the value of saving, they can learn to work towards their goals. For example, if a child wants to buy a new video game console that costs $200, they can start saving a portion of their allowance or money received as gifts. By setting aside $10 per week, they will reach their goal in 20 weeks, around 5 months. This example demonstrates that by consistently saving, they can attain something they desire, encouraging them to develop a habit of saving for future goals. 2. The Piggy Bank the concept of a piggy bank is a classic tool for teaching children about saving money. By giving children a piggy bank to deposit their spare change, they learn the importance of setting aside money for future use. Over time, the piggy bank accumulates coins, which can be counted and exchanged for larger bills or used towards a specific goal. This hands-on approach allows children to witness the power of saving and see their money grow. 3. The 50-50 Rule a simple rule to introduce children to saving is the 50-50 rule. Whenever they receive money, whether it's an allowance or a gift, encourage them to split it into two parts, one for spending and one for saving. For instance, if they receive $10, they can set aside $5 to spend on immediate wants and save the remaining $5. This rule instills the habit of saving a portion of their money while also enjoying the benefits of spending wisely. Four. Saving for the future. Children may not fully grasp the concept of long-term financial goals, such as saving for college or retirement. However, it's important to introduce the idea of saving for the future at an early age. 
For example, you can explain that by saving a small amount regularly, they can accumulate money over time to pursue their dreams or handle unexpected expenses. This understanding lays the foundation for responsible financial behavior later in life. 5. Delayed gratification. Teaching children about delayed gratification is an essential lesson in saving. Help them understand that by waiting and saving for something they truly want, they can experience greater satisfaction when they finally achieve it. For instance, if they want to buy a new bicycle but don't have enough money yet, encourage them to save and wait until they can afford it. By doing so, they learn the value of patience and the rewards that come with disciplined saving. These examples demonstrate the importance of saving in a way that children can understand. By introducing them to the concept of saving, setting goals, and witnessing the results of their efforts, children can develop healthy financial habits that will serve them well into adulthood. Teaching them the value of saving from an early age fosters financial responsibility and prepares them for a more secure financial future. Understanding Risk Understanding and managing risk is a crucial aspect of financial decision-making. It involves evaluating potential gains and losses, considering the probability of various outcomes, and making informed choices based on this assessment. Here, we will expand on the importance of understanding risk and provide thought-provoking examples to support this point. 1. The Tale of the Gambler Consider a fictional character named Sam, an avid gambler who loves taking risks. Sam visits a casino and decides to bet his entire savings on a single game. If he wins, he will double his money, but if he loses, he will lose everything. Sam's decision reflects a lack of understanding of risk. While there is a chance of doubling his savings, the probability of losing everything is equally high. This example highlights the importance of evaluating risk-reward ratios and not exposing oneself to excessive risks that could lead to devastating financial consequences. Lesson learned. Understanding risk involves assessing the potential downside and weighing it against the potential upside before making financial decisions. 2. The dot-com bubble burst. During the late 1990s, the dot-com bubble saw an explosion of internet-based companies with sky-high valuations. Many investors jumped into these speculative investments, hoping to make significant gains. However, when the bubble burst in the early 2000s, countless companies went bankrupt, and investors faced substantial losses. This example illustrates the importance of understanding market euphoria and being cautious of speculative investments. Those who failed to evaluate the risks and invested solely based on the market hype suffered significant financial setbacks. Lesson learned. Evaluating the risks associated with market trends and avoiding excessive speculation can protect against financial losses. 3. Diversification and Risk Management Diversification is a risk management strategy that involves spreading investments across different asset classes, industries, or geographical regions. It aims to reduce the impact of a single investment's poor performance by having a portfolio that includes various investments. This approach helps mitigate the risk associated with putting all eggs in one basket. For example, imagine two individuals, Alex and Emily, each investing $10,000. Alex puts all the money into a single stock, while Emily diversifies her investment across stocks, bonds, and real estate. If the stock chosen by Alex performs poorly, he stands to lose a significant portion of his investment. On the other hand, Emily's diversified portfolio is better positioned to handle fluctuations in individual investments. This example highlights the importance of diversification as a risk management tool. Lesson learned. Diversifying investments reduces the potential impact of individual investment failures, thereby managing overall portfolio risk. 4. Evaluating insurance coverage. Insurance provides protection against various risks, such as health issues, accidents, property damage, or unexpected events. It is essential to carefully evaluate insurance coverage and understand the risks being mitigated. For example, an individual who lives in an area prone to natural disasters should ensure they have adequate homeowner's insurance to protect against potential damage or loss. By understanding the risks specific to their circumstances and having appropriate insurance coverage, individuals can minimize the financial impact of unforeseen events.
Lesson learned. Assessing risks and obtaining appropriate insurance coverage can provide financial protection in times of adversity. These thought-provoking examples emphasize the importance of understanding risk in financial decision-making. Evaluating potential gains, losses, and probabilities helps individuals make more informed choices and manage risk effectively. By incorporating risk assessment into financial strategies, individuals can protect themselves against unnecessary losses and improve their long-term financial well-being. The influence of behavior. The influence of behavior on financial decision-making is a crucial aspect explored in The Psychology of Money. Our emotions, biases, and cognitive processes significantly impact the choices we make with our money. Here, we will expand on the influence of behavior and provide easy-to-relate examples to support this point. 1. Loss aversion. Loss aversion is the tendency to feel the pain of losses more intensely than the pleasure of equivalent gains. This bias can lead to irrational decision-making, such as holding on to losing investments for too long or selling winning investments too quickly. For example, imagine you invested in a stock that starts to decline in value. Due to loss aversion, you might hesitate to sell it, hoping it will rebound and avoid the pain of realizing the loss. However, by holding on to a declining investment, you may miss out on better opportunities or incur further losses. Lesson learned. Being aware of loss aversion can help you make more rational decisions and avoid holding on to losing investments out of fear. 2. Herd mentality. Herd mentality refers to the tendency to follow the crowd and base our decisions on the actions or opinions of others. This behavior often manifests in the investment world. For instance, during periods of market exuberance, people may be tempted to invest heavily in a particular asset class or stock simply because others are doing so. This behavior can lead to asset bubbles and subsequent crashes. Similarly, during market downturns, herd mentality may push individuals to sell their investments out of fear, even if it may not be the best long-term decision. Lesson learned. Recognizing the influence of herd mentality can help you make more independent and rational decisions, avoiding potential pitfalls caused by following the crowd. 3. Impulse buying. Impulse buying is the act of making unplanned and often unnecessary purchases without considering the long-term consequences. For example, imagine you come across a heavily discounted item that you don't need, but the allure of the price reduction triggers the impulse to buy it. Giving in to impulse buying can lead to financial strain and cluttered lives filled with items that offer little long-term value. Lesson learned. Practicing mindful spending and avoiding impulse buying can help you make more deliberate choices aligned with your long-term financial goals. 4. Anchoring bias. Anchoring bias occurs when we rely too heavily on initial information when making subsequent decisions. For instance, when shopping for a product, we may be influenced by the first price we see, even if it's not the best value available. This bias can lead to overpaying for goods or services because we anchor our perception of value to the initial price we encounter. Lesson learned. Being aware of anchoring bias can help you seek multiple perspectives or price comparisons to make more informed purchasing decisions. 5. The power of automatic savings. Behavioral strategies can also positively influence financial decisions. For example, Setting up automatic savings allows you to save a portion of your income before it can be easily spent. By automating your savings, you remove the temptation to spend the money impulsively and make consistent progress towards your financial goals. Lesson learned. Leveraging behavioral strategies, such as automatic savings, can support your financial well-being by aligning your actions with your long-term goals. These relatable examples illustrate the influence of behavior on financial decision-making. By understanding our behavioral biases, recognizing the impact they can have on our choices, and employing strategies to mitigate their effects, we can make more informed and rational financial decisions that align with our long-term goals. The Role of Stories The role of stories in shaping our understanding of money and influencing financial decisions is a key theme explored in The Psychology of Money. Narratives and stories create mental models that guide our behaviors and perceptions towards money. 
Here, we will expand on this point and provide stories from history that exemplify the influence of narratives on financial decision making. 1. The Tulip Mania One of the most famous examples of the influence of narratives on financial markets is the Dutch tulip mania in the 17th century. During this period, tulip bulbs became highly coveted and their prices soared to astronomical levels. People were drawn into the frenzy, with some even selling their houses to buy tulip bulbs. The narrative surrounding tulips as a symbol of wealth and prosperity fueled the speculative bubble. However, eventually, the market collapsed, and many individuals suffered significant financial losses. The tulip mania serves as a cautionary tale about the power of narratives and the irrational exuberance they can generate. Lesson learned. Stories and narratives can drive irrational market behavior, leading to asset bubbles and subsequent crashes. Being aware of these narratives and critically evaluating their validity is crucial for making sound financial decisions. 2. The American Dream The concept of the American Dream is a prevalent narrative in the United States, representing the belief that hard work and determination can lead to upward mobility and financial success. This narrative has influenced generations of individuals, encouraging them to pursue education, career advancement, and entrepreneurial ventures. While the American Dream has inspired many people to strive for financial prosperity, it is essential to critically evaluate this narrative and recognize that external factors, such as systemic inequalities or economic downturns, can impact one's financial trajectory. Lesson learned. Narratives like the American Dream can inspire individuals, but it's important to temper them with a realistic understanding of external factors that may influence financial outcomes. 3. Warren Buffett's Investment Philosophy Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, has consistently shared his investment philosophy and stories to shape the understanding of prudent financial decision-making. His emphasis on long-term value investing and patience has influenced generations of investors. Buffett's narrative focuses on fundamental analysis, assessing the intrinsic value of businesses, and having a long-term perspective. His stories and lessons have shaped the way many investors approach the stock market. Lesson learned. Narrative-driven lessons from experienced investors, like Warren Buffett, can provide valuable insights into prudent financial decision-making. These historical stories demonstrate the influence of narratives on financial decision-making. The narratives we internalize can shape our perceptions, behaviors, and investment choices. Being aware of the narratives surrounding money, critically evaluating their validity, and seeking a balanced perspective can help us make more rational and informed financial decisions. The Power of Simplicity The power of simplicity in financial decision-making is a concept emphasized in The Psychology of Money. Simplifying our financial strategies and focusing on straightforward approaches can lead to better outcomes. Here, we will expand on this point and provide examples of individuals in history who exemplify the power of simplicity in their financial lives. 1. Benjamin Franklin Benjamin Franklin, one of America's founding fathers, is known for his wisdom and practical approach to personal finance. Franklin's philosophy emphasized frugality, saving, and avoiding debt. He famously said, a penny saved is a penny earned. Franklin believed in living below his means and saving diligently. He recognized the power of compound interest and exemplified simplicity in his financial practices. Lesson learned. Following a frugal lifestyle, prioritizing savings, and avoiding unnecessary debt can lead to long-term financial stability. 2. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, often considered one of the greatest investors of all time, is known for his simplicity and disciplined approach to investing. Despite his vast wealth, Buffett has famously lived a relatively modest and simple lifestyle. He sticks to his value investing principles, focusing on long-term investments in solid businesses with understandable operations. Buffett avoids complex financial instruments and prefers straightforward investment strategies. His simplicity and discipline have been key factors in his remarkable financial success. Lesson learned. Embracing simplicity in investment strategies and focusing on long-term value can lead to consistent financial growth. 3. Jack Bogle. Jack Bogle, the founder of Vanguard Group, 
is a prime example of embracing simplicity in investing. He championed the concept of index investing, which involves buying and holding a diversified portfolio of low-cost index funds that track the performance of a market index. Bogle believed in the power of the market's long-term growth and advocated for investors to avoid trying to beat the market through frequent trading or active management. By simplifying investing through index funds, Bogle provided everyday investors with a low-cost and effective way to participate in the stock market. Lesson learned. Embracing simplicity in investing, such as through index funds, can lead to more consistent and cost-effective returns. These historical figures serve as role models for embracing simplicity in financial decision-making. Their practical approaches, whether through index investing, frugality, or disciplined strategies, demonstrate the power of focusing on straightforward principles. By simplifying our financial strategies, we can avoid unnecessary complexity, reduce costs, and make more informed decisions aligned with our long-term financial goals. The value of flexibility. The value of flexibility in financial planning is crucial for adapting to unexpected circumstances and seizing new opportunities. Being open to change and having the ability to adjust our financial strategies can contribute to long-term financial security. Here, we will expand on this point and provide examples of ways to apply flexibility in our day-to-day -day lives. 1. Emergency Fund Maintaining an emergency fund is a prime example of incorporating flexibility into your financial plan. An emergency fund is a dedicated pool of savings set aside to cover unexpected expenses, such as medical emergencies, job loss, or car repairs. By having this fund, you create a financial safety net that provides flexibility in navigating unforeseen circumstances without derailing your long-term financial goals. Example. Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. This allows you to handle unexpected events without resorting to high interest debt or having to make hasty financial decisions. 2. Multiple income streams. Creating multiple income streams provides financial flexibility by diversifying your sources of revenue. Relying solely on a single income stream can be risky as job loss or industry changes can significantly impact your financial stability. By diversifying your income through side gigs, investments, or additional sources of revenue, you enhance your ability to adapt to changing circumstances and potentially increase your earning potential. Example. Explore opportunities to generate additional income, such as freelancing, part-time work, or starting a small business. This diversification of income can provide stability and flexibility in your financial life. 3. Adapting to market conditions. Flexibility in investing involves being open to adjusting your investment strategy based on market conditions. Market dynamics can change rapidly, and being too rigid in your investment approach may limit your ability to seize new opportunities or protect your portfolio from potential downturns. By staying informed and flexible, you can adjust your investment allocations and strategies to align with evolving market conditions. Example, regularly review your investment portfolio and make necessary adjustments based on market trends and economic conditions. This may involve rebalancing your portfolio, diversifying across different asset classes, or taking advantage of undervalued investment opportunities. 4. Career Development and Skill Enhancement Investing in your own skills and career development provides flexibility in the job market. As industries evolve and technology advances, having a diverse skill set and staying adaptable can help you navigate career transitions or advancements. By continuously improving your skills, you increase your employability and open up opportunities for higher income potential and career growth. Example, take courses, attend workshops, or pursue certifications in areas that align with your career goals. This ongoing skill enhancement ensures that you remain flexible and adaptable in an ever-changing job market. 5. Revisiting financial goals. Flexibility also means regularly reviewing and reassessing your financial goals. Life circumstances, priorities, and external factors can change over time, requiring adjustments to your goals and financial plans. By being open to reassessing your goals, you can align them with your evolving needs and adapt your financial strategies accordingly. Example, 
schedule periodic reviews of your financial goals to assess their relevance and adjust them as necessary. This flexibility allows you to respond to changing circumstances and ensure your goals remain attainable and aligned with your current situation. Incorporating flexibility into your financial life enables you to adapt to unforeseen events and seize new opportunities. By establishing an emergency fund, diversifying income streams, adapting investment strategies, investing in skill development, and reviewing financial goals, you cultivate resilience and ensure a more secure financial future.